welcome to Houses Flipping People. So today we're here in Austin, Texas with our top real estate investor, Rosie and Roger. Please come on in. I'm so excited to have you guys here. So, so good to, nice see, to you. see you. So good to see you. So nice to see you too. So do you guys mind stepping in my office? And yes. I'd love to do a little quick interview and talk about this amazing deal that you guys have here in Austin. So please, Rosie, go in. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so excited to have you guys here. This is amazing. Thank you. We yes. are thrilled to be so, here. Just let you know, we did went inside the property and we actually did a little quick uh, drone as well. And I'm gonna play that right now. Okay. And we're gonna go over, you know, the the magic question that everybody likes to ask: How did you find this deal? How much money are we talking about? And the neighborhood a little bit. Tell me a little bit about this neighborhood. How did you guys end up finding this deal? How much did you pay for? and the renovation and you know the profit i do want you to hold on the profit how much are we talking about <laughs> because i'm excited to hear that as well so how tell me a little bit about the neighborhood so uh as just being in austin texas alone it's a premium uh zip code to be in right so yeah. uh it's no brainer that you ride off of mopac and uh, just a few miles into uh davis street um, so we normally not always um, know, you know, the deal we are talking to is going to be good or not. But once we see a premium Austin zip code, we hone in a little bit more attentively. Um, we found this lead, um, as everybody knows, we are investors and real estate professionals. So we interact with thousands of sellers on a monthly basis. And uh, no two sellers are the same, right? Not everybody wants to go on the market and sell, depending upon the condition of the house. Um, so when we chose to work with this seller, our main goal was to understand what would be an ideal outcome for this homeowner, right? And uh, where all parties feel like they're treated fairly. Um, so um, we actually, um, Roger is a big part of our marketing team. Um, so he marketed and I had the first point of conversation and we set our first um, appointment and I remember signing paperwork on the hood of the car. That's great. So. So how far is this property from downtown Austin? Uh, you're probably looking at good 10 to 12 minute drive. Okay, so not that bit, far. Not that far. Okay, not that far. and um, is this location more for the buying hold or this is more a fix and flip? What is your guys' intention for this particular deal? Well, um, as we all know, Austin is a highly appreciating area. So I'm sure on our heat map, this is looking uh, pretty red hot. And um, so it's definitely a great buy and hold. Uh, we, we, when we bought it, we bought it as a fix and flip. Um, and uh, as we are seeing the numbers progress, now we are starting to realize that maybe it won't be a bad idea to buy and hold for another year and uh, keep watching the market and see um, how we can maximize our outcome. And we did make a little video about the, the house inside and I love to know yeah a little bit about that as well i can see it is under renovation we did meet one of your contractor here today so awesome. it, magic is happening there was some appliance arriving in as well <laughs> as we were doing our drone video and so on so i, I know it's happening because yes. i did see it so tell us a little bit about this deal uh the inside the renovation how did you choose the appliance and why did you choose this kind of appliance the flooring what are the major things that you actually did on that you actually doing on this renovation? Would you like to be a real estate investor in Texas? Come to one of our free local meetings to get access to free training, wholesale properties, capital, and power teams. Click on the link below to find a meeting near you and register for free. So in this home, we chose to paint the fireplace. As you can see, it looks it looks nice. We closed some windows off, opening some more windows up, and uh, master bedroom is going to be a very cozy space, so we're just going to highlight the closet better. Uh, now, the main challenge was as you go towards the vanity area, right? The vanity was outside, and of course, there was carpet underneath wow. and uh, pink tiles when we went inside. So we knew we don't have a huge walk-in shower, but we knew that we needed to open the space up. So we made sure we gave it an eclectic look and uh, still honored the vanity outside. Now having too many doors was a problem so we took some doors out and put some sliding door. So it's a privacy and there's going to be a barn door in the master bedroom as well. Okay. Um, kitchen, I'm very excited about the kitchen on this property because 
Uh, we picked the marble tops, and you probably see that gray towel sitting yes. there. Uh, we're actually going to be uh, doing a towel backsplash from uh, counter to ceiling okay. on both sides, and uh, this is going to give a very uh, a uh, very um, elegant look to the kitchen with open space because in a small kitchen you don't want to have hundreds of cabinets, yes. right? So we're doing raw shelves and nice lighting and uh, a open vent uh, to make it nice and easy for someone to enjoy their easy yeah. meal. And we do have a, now there was a huge canopy in the back, you know, which was yeah. making the house look dark and moldy. So we got our contractor team out and we took that thing down. And uh, now we're planning on opening up the deck in the back for outdoor seating. Oh, wow. And um, as uh, Roger and I got to think about it, I was like, well, honey, we already are spending time and energy on it. And if we do work towards buy and hold, what could be our be next best strategy? And, um, you know, in this area, you and I both know uh, people are working from home. Yes. Right? So you have a home and you might have, you know, start a family in there. What about a nice office in the back? Yeah, mm -hmm. on that little porch. I like that yeah. idea. Yep. So we researched neighborhood, looked at uh, property sold and coming on the market. And that little, little shed in the back, uh, we are planning on maximizing our return by converting that into an outdoor office. Okay. Yeah. But the goal is to always look at the outcome first and identify the patterns. You know, like um, what are other homes? And do they have proven data? Is it working? Is the cash flow coming in because it's a commitment once the money sticks to the house you yeah. can't rip it out you know it has to be transacted yeah so that's i love think. what you guys have done and how the re the renovations coming <coughs> along is very looking very open light and and even though it's a smaller house but as you walk in it flows together yeah it's not a frankenstein house yeah. even if it was your guy did some amazing you know closing doors and changing some things here and there it does look a very open flowing and you, it feels very welcoming yeah. welcoming yes yeah. that's the goal yeah that was a little bit of how much did you guys pay for this property and how much are we talking in terms of renovation and you know what is our profit here yes well uh, the deal uh, roger is all about profit you know <laughs> um he lets me consider as many deals as we want but when it's time to ink the deal it's about the numbers we're in a highly appreciating area so we acquired this property close to 320 and um, we are expecting renovations of around 40 to 45k uh, now if we choose to go with the back office a little bit uh, extensive we might add another you know seven to nine thousand dollars in that so on a higher end, maybe 52K. Um, and right now, there's proven sales uh, that are already sold within a few days, between 495 and 525. So it's uh, profitable right off the bat uh, for the end, uh, end result. Now, that's where we won't be attached to an outcome, where we might choose to buy and hold. And if our strategy goes well, and uh, we are potentially able to run an Airbnb out of it, because after all, we're in a neighborhood with no HOA. Wow, yeah. that is great. Uh, yeah, that yeah. Is, the whole HOA is huge. Yes. And yeah, this is fantastic. So, mm -hmm. how much profit? Who is doing the math there? Well, we're looking at minimum around 110, 115 right off the bat. And uh, when things go well, I'll leave it up to destiny <laughs> to be phones. I don't want to ever decide how much more, whatever more. How did you guys find this deal again? By cold calling. So we do a lot of marketing in terms of uh, emails, uh, direct marketing, and as people raise their hand, we conversate and that's where I show up to uh, set an appointment and actually take the deal further for an ideal outcome. So which kind of marketing are you guys working on and which kind of list? You know what I'm a really big proponent of is, uh, is calling the people too. And I find a lot of my business that way. I know ever since uh, I started in real estate 12 years ago. And I remember the very first day I was in real estate, people said, oh, don't, don't try calling people. They're never going to answer your phone, right? And uh, so the truth is, is that someone's always going to answer your phone. We have an appointment we got to go on today that was a result of cold calling. Cold calling does work. I'm a big believer. Yeah. I got much better uh, through COVID. <laughs> because we couldn't see, we couldn't, you know, be free as we are today again. Yes. And cold calling came in, in handy. I learned yeah. cold calling like there's no issue water. I don't consider myself a pro, but I agree with you 100%. Yeah. yeah. Cold calling does work. It yeah. does work. I love this market.
Everyone on this show has one thing in common. They learn how to invest in real estate from Texas Real Estate Investor Association's Texas REITs. Whether you want to flip houses, quit your job, build your wealth, discover high return investment opportunities, or even learn how to buy rental properties, even with no money, you owe it to yourself to come check it out by attending a free local meeting. It's fun. It's free. You'll learn a lot. New people are always welcome. Click on the link below and we'll see you there. How did you guys become an investor? By helping other investors, uh, plenty that I realized I gotta be one. <laughs> but how did you even find the network itself? How did you chose the network? Because I think you are, you have to get, you don't need to have a license, but you need to have a knowledge of an, a network or how did you guys end up? So here? I'll give you a very simple transition. We joined Big Dogs in what year? 2019. 2019. So for yeah. people who doesn't know what's Big Dog, yeah. Texas Rhea. Yeah. Uh, yes, Field, Texas Rhea. Phil Grove that you just mentioned right. is the, Phil uh, Grove and Chanel Grove is the founder who has been in business for 18 years, yeah. 18 years. in Texas. So, yes, yes. so yeah, for anyone that is listening to us out there, you Texas know, Rhea is. Uh, I really think when you, when you uh, surround yourself by like-minded people, your why uh, multiplies. So, you know, you maybe want to you want to be an investor, but until you don't start surrounding yourself with other investors, uh, you don't start to grow your mindset on what is actually possible. You know, y you may go from just wanting to do one flip in your whole life. But if you surround yourself with other people who are doing five or ten a month, then you, you're going to you're going to say, OK, why not me? How? are you guys doing it working together <laughs> partnering together and you know you guys spending 24 hours together, together yeah. and, and have that relationship and they end up the day and be excited to be actually like we're identical we're, we're so identical we're, people we're like so identical in our nature that being around each other doesn't really wear as been too much too much like there's no abrasion but when it's time to implement there's a lot of abrasion because we both don't like <laughs> and we have to associate with right people now that you guys are these amazing real estate investors yeah. and realtors <coughs> what do you guys do for fun honestly my <coughs> hobby is for him to find out places for me to go that I've never been <laughs> before and he loves finding new businesses that new restaurants new site that we have never been to and I was like just surprise me <laughs> so, so if I, you would thank you today to you know your guys sitting here being so safe and doing what you love and growing together as a family yeah and this today is very challenged because it's so easy to grow in different direction and complain and blame you know both parties you guys are actually growing together and encouraging each other and improving each other yeah. who you guys would like to thank you for this all this magic that happened in your guys life wow. well i think definitely like you know w we we really love the the big dog network and yes and for people who doesn't know big yeah. dog it is texas ria it's a texas, texas ria so Texas Ria Shanoa is a, a you know I love I love powerful women I think yes. having those people in our lives it just uh, it, they raise the lid our parents um, because after all we're apple doesn't fall that far from the tree yes. <laughs> as much as it wants to think it rolled down the hill and it's <laughs> now in another it's still the same apple <laughs> you know, it didn't even cross the fence when it fell yeah. it just fell right there right in investor world uh, I got inspired by meeting. Uh, you know, Phil and Shinoa and the network, you know, like I just have this natural antenna uh, of people that I gravitate towards. Yeah. And I'm humbled with the way people show up like every day, every day, every like day the people I learning. get to know. And, you and know, yeah. yeah, I want to add to that. Uh, and Roger, so I know. Thank you. Yeah. So for anyone out there um, that wants to get into real estate, find your local real estate investment get the right training get the right network right. what else do you guys would recommend for anyone that you know wants to become an investor and wants to change their career I love this question and it I didn't have an answer for it for the longest time but now I by experience here's what I've learned the moment you're confused that you don't know how to go about something it's real estate investing it's buying selling or doing admin work because we all are good at something right the only one thing I tell everybody is get 100% involved with the world around you. What I mean by that is go help people who are already doing good. Learn, see what they're doing. 
by working with people who are already in big action, you will know very quickly what you're good at and what your passion is. So getting 100% involved with the, uh, with the process around you and people around you without any attachment to the outcome. If one can do that for themselves, there is no reason why they can't find their direction. Well, I really appreciate it, you guys coming Thank in you. and spend some time with us. And I hope, you know, that anyone out there that is listening to our video, get motivated and get started. Yes. Anyone can be a real estate investor. That's my code. Yes. And that's how I became a real estate investor, coming to our local Texas RIA and learning from the pros. Absolutely. People who has been here for 18 years yes. and investing in Texas and living in Texas, not just in and out. Yeah. This is people that have their boots on the ground, not just in Austin, but Dallas, Houston, San Antonio. Yes. And it is great yes. to hear your guys' story, to hear your guys' success and growing toward the greatest. I do have another little surprise outside, so oh wow, um, okay. You know, my, let's go outside. Okay. And um, all right. So please come on in. All right. Thank you. I'm gonna take my drink with you. Where's my thing? So just all hold right. on. All right. So this is how the Brazilian <laughs> celebrates. Oh, oh, is that wow. right? Uh oh, okay. I'm ready for oh this. Oh my God, okay. Uh oh, okay. And okay. of course, we have some salmon. Wow. I know you're doing oh some Oh my dance. God, I love so, it. Yeah. Yeah, she loves Are you in Texas? Would you like to know the secret for having a better life? Would you like to quit your job, create a legacy for your family, become a millionaire, or even a multimillionaire? Over 80% of the people here in Texas who have accomplished these goals have used the secret. Hi, I'm Olivia. I'm the host for Houses Flipping People, a show that talks about the people's life who has been transformed by the secret. So what's the secret? Simple, investing in real estate. In fact, it's really, really hard to become a millionaire not investing in real estate. So, would you like to become a real estate investor in Texas? If you have even the smallest interest in real estate, and of course you should, the very first thing to do is to attend a free live meeting at your local real estate investor association hosted by Texas RIAs. Are you living the life that you deserve? I know I am. So can you. We meet live in Austin, Houston, Dallas, and San Antonio on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. And we also simulcast our meetings live as well. Go to the link below to see the calendar and to register to attend for free. Don't buy real estate retail, that's ridiculous. And don't waste your time and money going to a get-rich-quick seminar from a traveling pitch man. Come network with local Texas-based investors that are just getting started or taking it to the next level. Come join the largest real estate investor network in Texas. Do you want a better life? Do something about it. I did. We meet live in person in Austin, Houston, Dallas, and San Antonio on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. And we simulcast online if that's more convenient for you. Go to the link below to see the schedule and register to attend for free. Come to a free local meeting to get access to wholesales, off-market deals, the finance to purchase real estate, free training, as well as the contract and contractors and other local resources that all investors need to be successful. Nearly 80% of the millionaires got there all or in part from investing in real estate. Come join us. New people are always welcome. Again, we meet live in Dallas, Houston, Austin, and San Antonio on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. Go to the link below to see the schedule and register to attend for free. I believe in working hard and, of course, playing hard and reaching my potential every single day. You don't need a lot of money to invest in real estate. You just need a little bit. You don't even need credit. What you really need is to take action right now. If you do, you really can live a better life. It worked for me and it can work for you as well. I learned how to invest in real estate from Texas RIAs and so can you. Go to the link below to see the schedule and register to attend a meeting near you, live or online, for free. And I will see you there.